Hello, and welcome to the not-so-recently-requested needle waffle tutorial. This is a simple DIY case for placing your sewing needles, and we start out by making the pattern. For this you'll need a vintage waffle iron. This one has four hearts and that's exactly what we need. So I'll make a batch of waffles, and then the one who comes out best I will be using to make the template. It feels like something's missing. Sorry, sorry, I'm not good at snapping. Oh, oh. I'll, get, I'll get it eventually. It, it worked! With the waffles done, I pick out the prettiest and trace around it with a pencil. Then I draw lines connecting all of the corners. If you want to skip to this step, the square measures 14 times 14 centimeters. For my closure, I mark a 4 by 2 centimeter strip on one of the sides. To make sure the hearts were even, I folded the paper to make them symmetrical. Then for our filling, our waffle will be filled with a layer of felt, as it is much preferred by the needles, like this one that I made earlier. Now the easiest way to do this would be to spread jam on our waffle and place it face down on our paper giving us the perfect outline. But I like to make things more complicated than they need to be, so instead I'm going to freehand it. With the paper folded, I mark down one centimeter from the edge and clip a rounded edge. And there you go, our pattern is finished. Wasn't that easy? Now for the waffle I use a cotton fabric. It's folded double. I pin down the pattern and then proceed to mark around the entirety of the waffle. Then I decided to cut away some excess fabric freeze. My pattern is released and I repin my fabric. I mark where I'm going to leave an opening to turn it inside out. Then we sew along the marked line with a narrow stitch on the sewing machine. Remember to leave this part open. Waffles live in herds, so I made it a friend. There are several ways you can change and add your own touch to this project. I chose to alter the closure slightly by shaping it. After sewing, I notched each point and cut away the excess. It's also important to iron your waffle after every seam. It strengthens the stitching and reminds the waffle of its home. They're turned inside out using a blunt object and ironed once more. 
I'll show you two simple methods for closing up the sides. With the seam allowances turned in, I top stitch around the entirety of the waffle. This closes the gap and adds some decor. The second one is finished by hand. But first, I've chosen to use snap buttons as a closure and I need to add some reinforcement to the strap as this is a thin cotton canvas. For this, I added a piece of felt. Then I close the gap using a ladder stitch. Now for the filling. Traditional waffle filling includes jam and sour cream, brown cheese and tacos. But we're making ours out of felt. With the pattern pinned down, we trace around it using anything that shows up really. We cut out the shape. And that's all. Felt on tray. Now it's finally time to join the filling with our excited waffles. To secure them together, we sew a line connecting each corner. And this is the result. Now for the closure, as I mentioned, I'm using snap buttons. First, find an expensive book and a hammer. With the placement of the buttons marked out, I attach the buttons according to the instructions. We fold up the waffle and iron it to hold its shape. And that's it, you're done. Please enjoy your perfect waffle. This video was a lot of fun to make, so thank you for following along. Do tell if you ever try this, and remember to celebrate Waffle Day on the 25th of March. Until next time.